Welcome back to the Lordswood School Book Nook. I have some really exciting news to talk to you about, so keep watching to find out. Okay, now some of you may be thinking to yourself, Miss Pryor, have you gone mad? Why are you sat in your book corner with an empty bookshelf? And that is a, an excellent question. And I am going to explain all about why my bookshelf is empty in this video. Now, at the beginning of this academic year, the staff of Lords of School decided that reading was going to be our biggest focus of the year, which is exactly why we have developed the Lordswood School Book Nook in order to talk about books and get that dialogue going where we can share books with each other and review books and all that kind of stuff. Now, on top of that, Mrs. Lushinsky at the beginning of the year asked us if we would like a budget, some money to spend on some new books for our classroom. And obviously we jumped at the chance. The teachers in the school were absolutely thrilled and we were really excited to get looking at all of the books that we wanted to buy for our classrooms. So I'm going to share with you in this video some of the books that we chose to be part of our reading corners in our classrooms in year six. So we have a grand total of 98 books per year six class that are now going to be available for you guys to read in your reading corners. And I cannot wait to share some of these with you. OK, so the first set of books that I'm actually going to share with you and talk a little bit more about are the Sinclair's Mysteries. Now, these ones were the books that Mrs. Baker May was most excited to get. And when we received them, she was like, I need to read all four. So there are four books in the series, starting with the blue one, then we have the red one, which is The Jeweled Moth, then we have uh, The pa Painted Dragon and The Midnight Peacock. Now these are essentially murder mystery type stories, um, but they're full of sort of, they're all set in different time periods, which is really nice. And the stories behind them um, obviously are completely different. So they're a really nice mystery to read. Um, you don't necessarily have to read them in order, which is really good. So if somebody's already reading the blue one, you can go on and read the next one. They're all standalones, which is great. Um, and I definitely can't wait to pick these up. I'm really excited to make a start on these. OK, so the next series that, I'm, that we bought that I'm going to share with you is this, the Last Kids on Earth series. Now, just like the sticker says on the front cover, these have, this has now been made into a Netflix series. Um, so that's really exciting. Honestly, this book is, these, these books are absolutely everything you could possibly want. There's action, there's a team of kids, there's zombies, there's monsters. They are absolutely fantastic and they're definitely worth picking up. The illustrations alone are absolutely brilliant. Okay, and they are really exciting reads and I'm really hoping to see some of you reading reading these. There again are four in the series. So we've got the first one is just called The Last Kids on Earth. We've then got The Last Kids on Earth and The Zombie Parade. We've got The Last Kids on Earth and The Nightmare King. And we've got The Last Kids on Earth and The Cosmic Beyond. So I'm really excited to get to these. I really want to have a read of those two. And they're not too intimidating for some of our others, for some of our readers. And like I say, full of action, full of adventure, full of monsters and zombies. What more could you want? OK, staying on the topic of all things gross and disgusting, you may well have spotted that we also bought the Horrible Histories blood curdling box of books. This is an absolutely fantastic series because, again, it is non-fiction as well, which is great to read. So everything in here is factual. There are 20 books in this series, all ranging from, let's have a look at the first one that I picked out, uh, Blitzed Brits. Perfect. We've just done, year, in year six, we've just done World War II. So this is a great, maybe a great one to start with. But there's all different time periods. I know I don't need to tell you what horrible histories are. I'm sure that you've all read them before. Um, and what's nice is that they're quite, they're quite small books, so they're quick reads, but like I say, really interesting and really factual. As well as the Horrible Histories, we did also purchase the Horrible Science box sets, which is here. 
And again, there are 20 books in this one as well, ranging from Chemical Chaos, Killer Energy, Sounds Dreadful. So really exciting. And I cannot wait to see some of you in the classroom having a look at these and telling me all of the gross and disgusting facts that you learn while reading them. Now, obviously, I have focused mainly on the books that we have got in year six. I know that a couple of the book set, uh, the box sets that we have ordered in year six, year five have also ordered as well. So that's really exciting. But don't fear to the other year groups. Your teachers are going to talk to you in the next few days all about the books that you have received for your classroom as well. And I look forward to hearing all about what you're reading and maybe sharing some of the books that we have ordered on the channel as well. So keep up the reading. I look forward to seeing my class certainly enjoying all of the books that we've got here, all 98 of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.